Uh, atripamil is an investigational novel L-type calcium channel antagonist that has a very rapid onset of action. It's very short acting, it has a half-life less than five minutes and is administered as an intranasal spray. Yes, this compound uh, was used because it's a calcium channel blocker, and we know that L-type calcium channel blockers can prolong or slow conduction through the AV node. In paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia, the two mechanisms of SVT are either due to AV nodal reentrant tachycardia or AV reciprocating tachycardia. And because both of these have the AV node as a critical or necessary part of the reentrant circuit, we can target the AV node as a pharmacological target to terminate PSVT. It was thought that an L-type calcium channel blocker based on a long clinical experience with verapamil, for example, or diltiazem would slow or terminate episodes of PSVT. The pharmacology of this drug allowed it to be administered intranasally with rapid onset of action and rapid offset of action. So we tested the hypothesis that this drug would be effective for terminating rapidly episodes of PSVT. Yes, node one was a feasibility or proof of concept trial. It was a dose ranging study. We didn't know what would be the most effective dose, but it was designed to determine the optimal or most effective dose in terminating PSVT. It was designed as an EP lab a trial, although eventually the hope is that this can be used by patients outside of the hospital in the future. This was a proof of concept trial conducted in a controlled environment in the electrophysiology laboratory in patients who were having an EP study and a possible catheter ablation procedure for SVT. These were patients who came to the EP laboratory. They had their EP study, they had SVT induced. Once it's sustained for more than five minutes in a double-blind, randomized fashion, they received either placebo or one of four doses of atripamil from a small dose to a highest dose, four different doses, and it was randomized. So there were five arms in the study. The primary endpoint of the study was termination of SVT within 15 minutes of intranasal administration of the drug, again, in a double-blind, randomized manner. Yeah, the outcomes were very exciting. Obviously, the outcomes, as I suggested, showed that this drug was superior to placebo in terminating episodes of PSVT very rapidly. The three highest doses, 70 milligrams, 105 milligrams, and 140 milligrams, were all superior to placebo in rapidly terminating SVT and had conversion rates on the order of 75 to 95% conversion rates compared to 35% with placebo. There was a low dose of a tripamil, 35 milligrams that was studied that had a 65% conversion rate, but this did not achieve statistical significance. Well, I would also note that uh, it appeared that the optimal dose based on a balance of efficacy versus safety seemed to be that 70 milligram dose that had high termination rates. The 70 milligram dose we also noted had no effects on, in lowering blood pressure. The higher doses did. Going forward, we plan to test most likely the 70 milligram dose, although this has not been confirmed yet, in an out of hospital environment for patients to self-terminate episodes of PSVT in the future likely with the 70 milligram dose that this study defined as the lowest or minimally effective dose. But again, I would say we're working on what the next trial will be at this point. No, I think this is very exciting. It may give patients in the future a new option to self-terminate episodes of PSVT without having to come to an urgent care setting, an emergency room, or the hospital 
uh, it appears that this is a promising new therapy that we have never had available before for patients. And uh, this compound intranasally administered is also a new exciting route of drug administration, all of which uh, I'm very pleased to share with the audience today.